Well, it's a rainy day. Rain broke for a little bit, but I figured I'd start documenting the project. We've got a 1967 Kaiser Jeep. It's in actually very, very good condition. Uh, almost no rust on the body whatsoever. Uh, same thing for the bed. I will show you what we've got inside here. If we look down, we've got some rust here that we'll have to repair where the battery box used to set. A little surface rust on the floorboards, but as you can see, it's in amazingly good condition. So I picked this up recently. Uh, got, picked it up as you see it, all in pieces. The previous owner took it apart 10 years ago and has done nothing with it. So even the bed here, if you can see, no dings, dents, nicks, rust holes, nothing. Uh, he said he believes that it was used as a troop transport. Uh, it had seats bolted in it. You see the holes where the bench seats used to be. All right, fenders are all in good shape. No rust in the body. Okay. And here we have the frame, original engine, transmission, transfer case, front and rear differentials. I run in Dana 60s in these front and rears. I'm probably going to keep them for a little while, but they're running, I believe, 589 gears. So getting any speed out of this will be difficult, but we'll start with that. And if I need to, I'll swap the axles with some F250s or maybe even just the gear sets. So uh, to power this, we're not going to go with this original engine. I believe it was only 200, 225 horsepower. I'm um, going to end up changing that out. We'll get to that in just a second here. Also going to go with a new transmission and transfer case. The main reason for changing the transfer case is this is an NP200. And originally this vehicle was designed with a top speed of 45 miles an hour and not intended to be driven for long periods of time. So these NP200 transfer cases would overheat and basically boil their fluid out of the top and burn themselves up. So what we've got over here is the ever tried and true NP205 indestructible transfer case. And we've got another transmission. I honestly forget which transmission this one is. I'll have to look. We're going to swap this trans out. It has just a slightly better uh, gear ratio than the one that's in here already. So it, they came as a set. I got a good deal on those. So there is pretty much the project. It's literally just sitting on top of the axles right now. They're not even bolted on. So we'll get that uh, put together in a little bit and uh, go from there. First thing I'm probably going to do is, of course, take the engine trans transfer case off. Frame is really good, but I'm going to go and pressure wash and uh, clean up and uh, paint this frame. You can see there's not even really any scaly rust on here. Um, very minor rust. Guy had it, uh, again, in his barn, um, covered for the last 10 years, taken apart. This was actually up in the loft of his barn, the cab and uh, truck bed. We're up there. This was sitting underneath an overhang, so it hasn't been exposed to the weather. Unfortunately, it has been exposed to the weather with me, but not too long. So it's uh, the intro to the project, and uh, let's go check out the engine here. And here we have the power plant for our 1967 Kaiser Jeep. This is a Cummins 4BT. It has a, a plethora of things that have been done to it. Um, basically, we're going to be able to run probably between four and 500 horsepower and eight to 900 foot-pounds of torque if I choose to go that far. I probably won't do that much. Um, not necessary on this Jeep. It's just going to be my fun vehicle. So, uh, you know, I don't know how it's going to end up. Um, probably nice. Maybe a trail buggy. Maybe something nicer looking. I really don't know, but this is what's going to run the thing. So we've got that. We're going to have to make all kinds of bits. Adapter plates, uh, mounting brackets, everything. So we're going to fab everything up in the shop here. So we've got a new toy that will help. We've got the CNC plasma that hasn't been set up yet. Milling machines and lathes all back in there and welders and other bits. So this will be a pretty fun project, I think. And uh, hopefully I, you know, remember to keep documenting this as I go along. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And here I just threw in a few pictures when I went to pick up the Jeep. As you can see, it was piled on the trailer. Uh, guy loaded it on with a crane, just loaded it as you see it here. So we got it home and uh, took it off using the gantry crane piece by piece and scattered it around as was shown in the beginning of the video. So these pieces will, uh, you know, obviously be seen later as we move through our, our project here.